Melvin Welch graduated from Oklahoma A&M College in 1928. Although he studied agriculture, his passion was music. In an interview conducted in 2008 by the Oklahoma Oral History Research Program at the OSU Library, Welch talks about coming to Stillwater for the first time, choosing his major, and participating in Men's Glee Club. My mother decided that we were going to go to college. So one day I when I was out of school, they took me down to Oklahoma a and on Sunday afternoon in a Model T and helped me find a room next to the campus and unloaded my trunk with my, what, I, what little I had in it and, and uh, went home. And I was there the Monday morning to have to go enroll and so I, I went down there to enroll in a school of music. And um, so I started down the enrollment line and a man said, have you had uh, piano? And I said, no, sir. Got on down a little farther and a woman said, she's writing something down to you. Have you had voice? And I said, no, ma'am. So I decided, well, I was in the wrong place. So I went over and enrolled in the School of Agriculture. Because that's where I, I grew up on the farm. I knew a little bit about that. But I, but I, I, I wish I'd have stayed in the School of Music because I could have been a pretty good pianist, but I took, I, took, I took piano in the School of Music in my senior year at OSU, and I did, I did real good, even in my senior year. And I should have stayed with it, but uh, I learned the rudiments, and, and uh, I played a little bit for my own amazement, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a pianist. But, uh, I belonged to the Oklahoma a and Glee Club for years. I, they had a a voice teacher down here, and I took, I scheduled voice, and his name is John Brigham, and he was a tenor, and he, he was the best tenor I ever, I ever heard, I think, of, that none of, none of our, none of our kids in the Glee Club, but when they had a quartet or anything, well, he'd have to sing the, the high tenor part. It wasn't, it wasn't made up of students, but they didn't have uh, some students in the quartet, but parts like this. It was real difficult. Rolls like high tenor. It was hard to hard to sing, but he could sing them. And uh, well, did so, you have to try out for that? Well, uh, the uh, I went to take a voice lesson from John Brigham, and when I got through, he said, "I want you to show up here at seven thirty. He says you're in the Glee Club, and I was the only one that, that didn't have to try out for the Glee Club. I, I was in it, and I spent all four years, made all the trips with them, and we had a we had a Pullman down on the track at Stillwater, and uh, with no buses then, and, and they'd hook an engine on that and pull it up onto the main lines and go wherever we wanted to go. You know, we would. We would I know one time we went far as St. Louis to the. Um, Oh, what, what was it? What, Missouri Valley, I think. Missouri Valley, yeah, Missouri Valley contest. We didn't win it, but that's the first time I ever saw the Mississippi River when we went to St. Louis. And, but but we had a we had a good time. We went all over Oklahoma and, and Kansas with our glee club and with our with our program and. We we played a lot. Of, we were we were in demand a lot of places because we had we had good entertainment. And uh, do you have a favorite song from that time period? Um, no, I don't remember. But I um, I can sing the this the old Oklahoma song. Have you ever heard that? I have not. So I give you a land of sun and flowers. And summer the whole year long. I give you a land where those golden hours roll by to the mockingbird's song. Where the cotton blooms beneath the southern sun and the many tanks thick on the vine. A land whose story has just begun, this wonderful land of mine. Oklahoma, Oklahoma. Fairest daughter of the West, Oklahoma, 
Oklahoma, tis the land I love the best. We have often sung your praises, but we have not told the half, so I give you Oklahoma. Tis a toast we all can quaff. Welch was a member of Men's Glee Club all four years at Oklahoma A&M. A native of Helena, Oklahoma, he passed away in 2010. To view more interviews from Oklahoma A&M and OSU alumni, visit us online at www.library.okstate.edu slash oral history.